Okay, so welcome back to my channel. Uh, I am Jason and this is from Sense Perspective Reviews. Of course, you already know that because you clicked on the video. Um, I'm going to be recapping Shrill Season 1, Episode 5 article. Okay, so there are going to be some highs and lows in this episode. So Gabe is on his way to work. He gets a notification and then this is when he finds out that she actually published this article without his permission. So, of course, you know, he's pissed. He's seeing red. He's... he's He's flooring into the office, okay. But on the uh, flip side of that, you have um, Annie. She's getting, she's going through all of these positive comments, and um, the articles were received. So she's in a good mood right now. And then her mom calls her mom and dad. They're out on the walk, and her mom tells her that her father's test results are looking good, and so it looks like the treatments are working. So she's, you know, cloud nine. You know, the articles were received. Her dad, dad's health is improving. Okay, so. Um, Fran is up and she was like asking Fran like why are you up so early? She's like oh because I have the video shoot she um, got this gig where she's doing uh, I guess hair and makeup or maybe just hair um, for on um, this video shoot and so Annie um, it was like one of the most where her she told Annie about this but of course Annie has been so wrapped up in her own shit that she didn't remember and so, Andy asked her a question about it. This um, friend is packing up her kit, getting her kit together uh, to get out so she can um, leave for the photo shoot. But um, Andy ends up asking her something. And then as Fran started talking to her, she kind of went down on her phone. Like, she kind of, like, blanked her and was in her phone. And she was like, um, you, and you did ask me a question, right? And so, Andy was like, oh, well, Gabe sent me an, a text in all caps telling me he wants me to come in early. Does that, you think that means he's upset? She's like, uh, okay, so... Fran ends up dropping the bag. The, the bottle that contained her shroom pills spills out. As they were trying to clean everything up, the dog actually swaddled, swallowed a couple of them. So now they're like, oh my God, what are we gonna do? And he's like, okay, we should call the police. And so Fran is like, do you want me to get deported? Because your friend is from the UK. And so she's like, we should call my dad. Fran was like, we should call a vet. And so they called the vet, and the vet basically said the dog should be okay. Just might just keep an eye on the dog, you know, make sure the dog, you know, the dog may have, could possibly have a seizure or something. But just keep an eye on the dog. So now they're like, your friend is like, I have to go, you know, I'm already running late. And Andy's like, well, I have to go to work. I can't stay. And it wasn't my shroom. So now they're about to have this argument. Eventually, Andy says, I'll stay, you go. So Andy. So Fran leaves, and he gets ready for work, and she calls he who should not be named, aka Voldemort, aka Brian. So Brian shows up, and she go tells him, um, well, I know we didn't leave things off the, you know, we didn't leave things in the best state the last time. He's like, you know, we'll talk about that later. But my first um, concern is Bunkers, the dog. And so he went, you know, he, he just went to <laughs> the dog go see the dog. So she goes into work. And as soon as she walks in the door, Ruthie runs over and tells her, run. So well, she's like, huh? She's like, I'm not I'm not kidding. You should get the fuck out of here. Uh, you know, Ruthie is uncouth. So she's like, um, okay. So she looks over and she sees Gabe sitting at her desk. And so she walks over and Gabe is like, so what, what are you trying to do? She's like, you know, he's like, well, what, 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 what are you trying to do? What, what, why would you, um, why would you do this? And she was um, like, well, you know, I just, you know, it was just how I feel, I was feeling, and just about the reaction, a lot of people feel the same way. Da, 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 da. He was like, well, that's really not the point. The point is that you work for me, and you did not get my permission to do. That. I mean, they're going. It was just holding. And the fact that you paid me out to be this villain, this boss from hell, you know, the man trying to keep you from whatever, you know, you have going on. And uh, she was like, well, you're always telling us that we should rail against the establishment. He was like, I'm a man who was nail polished. I am not the establishment. So, <laughs> so um, she's like, so what are you upset about that? Um, that I didn't get your permission or that I wrote something that I feel strongly about. He was like, both. So they're having this whole discord in front of the entire office. So Amiti walks over and he's like, okay, you guys, you know, remember that you guys love each other. He's like, okay, fine. You know what? Take up for your work wife. And then he eventually tells her, he said, you know what? Your posting privileges are suspended and your, any, uh, your assignments are canceled until you remember that you're employed by me. And so, which I felt was fair because she, I mean, she overstepped. Um, so back at, 
uh, Andy's house. Ryan has this big idea. Okay, so the dog, he said the dog is tripping, so he's going to go ahead and take shrooms too, so they can trip together. So he decided he's, he, he took shrooms. Okay, so immediately they see, start telling her about some mini horse competition some, at the mall, at some mall or something. And he invited her to go. She was all gung ho about doing that. And it, you know, it was all, it was all good. So they made the plans to do that later that evening. So we get back to the house and he he's tripping with the freaking dog he's all outside dancing in the yard the neighbors are kind of looking at him like what the hell is he doing he's building forts in the house that he's calling the womb and the next thing you know he's paying him and the dog passed out in the backyard and he is completely naked okay so um immediate while Amelia and Anne were talking he she gets another notification from her troll and so they decide to go to IT to see if they can track down who this person actually is. And so uh, the woman, she did say that they, there is a way, but that she had some other stuff that she had to figure out. And she should probably have something for them by, tomorrow, by the following day. So, you know, it's, it's all good. And she's still feeling good because even though he was mad, he didn't take the article down. Um, as far as at this point, her father is doing well. And you know they have this date late. What date? This their friend. So they have this. Uh, uh, I, guess, I don't want to call it a date, but they they're meeting up later on to go to this competition, and so everything is all good. So she ends up going to her parents' house. Her dad was there, and she stopped by his favorite place and got him his favorite sandwich, was this meatball sub. And so they sat out on the patio and they ate, and they talked. And he was like, "I read your article, and I never knew that you felt that way." And he was, you know, very, he felt sad that, you know, he, she had those feelings and she didn't feel, she didn't feel like she could talk to anybody about them. Um, see, so he was like, you know, we should do, we should do a jam session. And she was like, no, dad, I'm not any good anymore. I don't want to do it. So no, no, no. Right. So Fran arrives home. And she sees Ryan sitting on the couch with the dog. So she goes over and of course she, you know, talks to the dog. She's happy that the dog is okay. And she tells Ryan, okay, you could leave. And he was like, well, I was kind of hoping that uh, I could wait until Annie gets home. And she was like, well, no, why are you even here? Like, I, you know, I don't like who she is with you. You're an asshole most of the time to her. You don't treat her right. And, she, you know, I just, I, she's the woman in the article, the, the, um, the go-getter, the woman that knows what she wants in her professional life, but for some reason when she's with you, she's just a completely different person, and I just think that you're all wrong and bad for her. I just think that you're all bad for her. And he, you know, they talked for a little bit, a little while. He's like, well, please, can I stay? And she's like, she's like, whatever. So, Annie and her dad are having their jam session, so he's on the piano, she's playing the clarinet, clarinet, and she was horrible, so he eventually started laughing, he's like, yeah, you're right, you really are bad, so they kind of laughed about it, and the mom came home um, with a few bags of groceries, and of course, they said they're high, uh, high. she's like, are you staying for dinner, and she's like, oh, we already ate, and then she saw the rapper, she's like, I cannot believe you brought that trash into my house, she was like, mom, must you try to control everything, and she was like, oh, yeah, I read your article, and, um, I, yeah, you made me out to be this horrible mom from hell because I wanted you to exercise and eat and um, eat way, uh, eat healthy and exercise. And she was like, "Well, mom, you just you have to manage and try to control everything." And then dad's sickness, you're using this as an excuse to manage. And he was like, "Okay, that's enough." And she's like, "Well, no, dad, because she's always and you always feel like you have to control everything." He was like, "Do you have any idea how hard your mom works? Not just for her, but for all of us. Right now, you're being a selfish brat." And so he was like, Dad, she's like, no, Mom, that, that mom, she was like, no, Dad, Mom is always on my case. And he just basically had enough and was like, fuck, he stood up and said, said fuck, he was pissed. Like, fuck. That was all he had to say. But that fuck said a whole lot. Like, I never told you. Shut the fuck up. You're out of line. I don't want to hear no more about it. And he walked off. That It was just, he just said the one word, but it's, it was spoke volumes, right? And so the mom ends up going after him and she's standing there like, you know, on the verge of tears. And I'm like, you are out of line. And the mom was right. The mom was like, if you really, if you felt this way, why didn't you come to me instead of putting it in an article for the whole world to see? And she was like, well, that's, 
you know, is that the problem? Is that that I felt that way or that now uh, other people can see it? Because you're more concerned about what people think than my feelings. You'd be like, you know, that's not true. Da, da, da. It was just a whole, yeah, that the argument that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she arrives home. Brian is there. And he, uh, he made her grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> and so she kind of hugged him and she saw the dog. That he was fine. And they talked a little bit. And she was like, um, you know what? I just had, it was a really bad day, so I just want you to fuck me. And this fool says, I'm not gonna fuck you. I'm gonna make fuck to you. I can't stand Brian. Um, so they end up making fuck on the couch. And I'm like, girl, you got a roommate. with a friend comes down? It's the whole, yeah. Anywho, so they flash to her phone and... She completely forgot all about a meeting. She's supposed to meet him to go to the competition. So we're gonna see how that conversation picks up tomorrow. Uh, well, pick, it picks up in episode six, which I believe is a season finale. So that is how this episode ended. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And of course, if you have shows that you are interested in that you want me to check out, please leave that in the comment section. And I am gonna end this here and I will see you guys in the next video.